co słychać Michael Oni mam na imię Trevor albo Tadeusz. Alright guys, so today I'm gonna be comparing American houses and Polish houses. Now I lived in Poland for just a brief period of I think close to 80 days and during my stay there I noticed a couple differences between the houses there and the houses I've stayed at in America. So today I'm gonna be comparing the differences that I noticed between the two. Now obviously I have to say this that these are all mainly generalizations and not every single Polish house, not every single American house has these amenities slash features and each one is going to defer. So I just want to get that out there that um, a lot of these are subject to change and I'm not 100% right on all these but just the differences that I noticed is what I'm going to be sharing today. So the first difference that I noticed is the overall exterior look to each house. So a typical American house has black shingles compared to a Polish house which typically to me in my eyes has a overall kind of like a Spanish type of tile typically and that's usually followed along with a tanner type of um, uh, paint I guess you could say to the exterior. Um, I'd say there's there's these two different stereotypes that I think of as um, the pictures are shown here. And I think um, these represent um, pretty good stereotypical houses for uh, America and Poland. Now there's differences to how the houses are made. And when I was walking around the streets in Lublin um, and Gdańsk and stuff like that, so I noticed that the foundation of the houses are typically cinder blocks and cement or bricks in Poland. And in America, typically it's really just wood on top of a um, foundation of concrete. All right, so now the rest of these are really not in order at all. So the next thing that I found that was different was taking shoes off when you enter the house. Now in the States, the houses that I grew up in, I didn't take my shoes off when I walked inside. And obviously in America, this completely, every like there's a 50% chance that you're gonna take your shoes off when you enter the house. Um, but in Poland, it seemed like every single house you take your shoes off when you walk in and also don't forget to not greet people over the threshold because that's some type of myth or something there. I don't know. Um, so another thing is big flush, small flush for the toilets. So yeah, most homes don't have that in the States. Actually, I've never been in a house that had that option in the States. And in every single house in Poland that I ever went to, there was always big flush, small flush. So another thing that I noticed is in Poland there's lots of heated floors and also heated towel racks. Typically the towel rack is in the bathroom and you can just set your towel on it and it just heats it up and it's nice and warm or it's completely dry. And in the States I've never seen a heated towel rack and I've never been in a house with heated floors so that's something I think is pretty different. So another thing is also plug outlets. They completely defer in the shape between Europe and America. So another thing, uh, this is kind of a weird one, but I noticed that the toilet seats were actually thinner when I was in Poland instead of the wide toilet seats that they have in the States. Um, obviously that's probably saying a lot about our cultures and how they defer as well. <laughs> so another thing, and this kind of defers in the States, but it's windows and Every single house I've ever been in, we've had sliding windows where they just slide straight up, slide straight down. And in Poland, it seems like there's lots of like twist the handle, push out types of uh, windows. So that's just something else that I noticed. So another thing that I noticed in Poland is that there's no AC. It's mainly all fans. And also, I mean, that just shows that the temperature is okay there, even in the summers. In fact, I went there in the summers and it was always mild and it was not too bad at all so you don't even need it in fact you can save a lot of money and it's kind of funny though because a lot of the people that I talked to whenever it was just like a summer day everyone would say oh it's so hot out and stuff like that and I'm thinking wow this feels cold to me so yeah you really don't need AC in Poland I think because the summers there are pretty mild so it's just interesting to me because um, it seemed like a lot of Polish people complained about the heat and stuff that was there. But I'm telling you guys, you do not want to come to the eastern U.S. 
in the summer okay the humidity is something you have not felt before okay it's a jungle all right it feels terrible it feels nasty okay i can't stand it all right i want to move i want to move already <laughs> so another thing i noticed between the two is washing and dryers so in the u.s you usually have like a small little closet where you put your washer and dryer in for your clothes and it's typically found along a hallway on typically second floor so in poland usually there's just a washer and a it's usually in a full room dedicated to the laundry with a uh, usually like drying racks and stuff like that because usually there's no dryers so this is going back to the exterior look of the house but it seemed like in Poland there was always a fenced yard where you couldn't even really see over to the other side because there's so much purposeful growth of bushes and stuff like that so you couldn't see anything and it seemed like in the states there's really not too much emphasis on this look and i know you guys have probably heard of the american dream with the white picket fence that type of thing well i would say that's not really true in fact a lot of houses don't really have fences and it seems like a lot of people don't really care about um their yards at least with myself in my own story we don't care if our neighbors use our yard and vice versa with them. They don't care if we use it. So one more thing that I noticed was the fridges. And in America, it seemed like we have these oversized large fridges where in Poland, there really is not too much emphasis on the fridge at all. And usually it's just a one door entryway. All right, guys, so that's some of the differences that I noticed between the two houses. But if you found any more, please leave them in the comments section down below and correct me if I'm wrong on anything. Obviously, again, these are all just generalizations between what I noticed between the two houses, and it's not 100% true. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. Jinkuya e Wtsemi.